Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from a resection of a breast tumour. We can see at low power that there is some adipose tissue, these whitish areas, and these pinkish areas represent the fibrous stroma of the breast. At the same time, we can also appreciate some ductal and lobular structures at this magnification, and I'm going to zoom in onto one of the benign ductal structures where we can see quite clearly that the epithelium is bilayered. So there are two layers of cells, the luminal layer here and the outer basal layer. The presence of two layers of cells lining ducts and lobular structures is good evidence that we're looking at benign breast parenchymal elements. At the same time, we can see that there are other cells outside in the stroma that do not conform to the ductal or lobular architecture. These are arranged in single file rows or cords, and some of them are actually found singly as well. So these cells are quite discohesive. Over here we can see a very clear arrangement in cords or single file rows, and in this area it almost appears that the tumor cells are sort of surrounding this benign ductal structure. They are arranged almost in concentric rings around this benign structure. This is very classical for invasive lobular carcinoma. So invasive lobular carcinoma is one of the two most common types of breast carcinoma, the other being invasive ductal carcinoma. Invasive ductal carcinoma tends to be more cohesive, the cells, so they form tubules, they form glandular structures, or sometimes uh, solid nests or sheets. Whereas in invasive lobular carcinoma, the cells are less cohesive, so they tend to arrange themselves in single file rows, or sometimes they're even seen singly. And this can be quite subtle, especially in a small biopsy, and sometimes when we're only catching the edge of the tumour, uh, lobular carcinoma can sometimes be actually mistaken for other cell types like lymphocytes and therefore they could just be missed and thought to be maybe chronic inflammatory cells. Whereas if we look carefully here, here is an aggregate of lymphocytes and these are tumour cells. So if you compare them, you can see that the tumour cells are actually larger than lymphocytes. But we have to be aware of this potential pitfall in order that we do not miss lobular carcinoma cells. So in summary, this is an example of lobular breast carcinoma where the cells are discohesive and they form cords or single file rows. And this is as opposed to invasive ductal carcinoma where the cells are much more cohesive. They form nests, sheets and tubular structures.